Ooh, ah, dragon, big dragon. Today, I am jumping through, running through epics, legends, and tall tales. And there is one angry dragon back there that needs business. Where are those knights of the round table when you need them? Okay, epics, legends, and tall tales are stories of human adventure and heroism. Most aren't very realistic, though some do contain grains of truth, so they sound like they could have happened. All three are part of the genre of folklore and have been passed down by storytellers from generation to generation. With each retelling comes slight variations, but all versions are considered correct. Epics are long, complex poems or stories, or cycles of stories, that center on the actions of a single hero. They evolved from myths, so you'll notice some similarities to them. Epics have key characteristics. Their purpose is to inform or entertain the listener. The setting is on Earth, but it's not always realistic. The characters may include gods and goddesses, but the hero is always human, or in some cases, superhuman, as is Odysseus in the Iliad and Odyssey, or Roland in the story of Roland. These characters became national or cultural heroes who embodied the universal emotions, greatness, and highest moral values of their country of origin. The plot centers on epic heroes who are often caught in a struggle between good and evil and are able to survive by their intelligence rather than their brute strength. Did you know that epics continue to be written today? What was that? Legends are hero tales that do not technically fit the definition of epics. They are based on either real or supposedly real individuals and the marvelous deeds they do. Sometimes legends are based on facts, but the story is so fanciful that it's difficult to tell where reality stopped and the teller's imagination took over. Tales of heroes' adventures grew into full-blown legends. The blend of realism and fantasy used to create characters like King Arthur, Lancelot, and Merlin the Magician leave readers spellbound about the land of Camelot. Though you might think legends are difficult to believe today, they were considered factual in their time. A modern-day spin is the urban legend. Typically, urban legends, like their ancient counterparts, are stories with a little bit of truth and a whole lot of fiction. And, just like the ancient stories that were passed from person to person, urban legends spread much the same way, over the internet. <coughs> what was that? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I have mail. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> you gotta be kidding, really? Remember hearing the story about the kid that drank Diet Cola and ate mints? <laughs> yeah, not true. <laughs> Did it just get warm in here? <laughs> Paul Bunyan? Come on! Tall tales are highly exaggerated accounts of people's accomplishments that have become more and more exaggerated with each retelling. Each storyteller has added a few amazing details to make the story a little better to the point where the stories are valued more for their humor and fun than factual content. You can think of tall tales as a subcategory of legends, but they are much more recent in their development as a very American form of folktale. Tall tales combine history, myth, and fact, and served as a symbol of strength for early settlers. These tales often help to offset the harshness of the New World with a little humor. As the new country developed, so did the characters. Heroes soon became the mightiest, strongest, and most daring lumberjacks, railroad workers, coal miners, and riverboat captains around. Tall tales made everyday people larger than life. You may be familiar with the tall tales of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, and Johnny Appleseed. They were real people who did some amazing things, but became larger than life over time. Because folklore is so closely tied to different cultures, countries, and value systems, it's shelved in nonfiction. You can find these stories in the 398s at your library. So jump into the genre of folklore with epics, legends, and tall tales. But watch out for dragons. Nice dragon. Good boy. Sit. Oh.